for today's lesson, we're going to learn all about denotation or literal and connotation or figurative. Here are three things that I need you to note about words before you begin writing. One, words have no specific meaning until they are used in a particular context. Two, words can be used in different ways. And most importantly, varying your word usage makes you a good writer. Here are our objectives for today. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to do all of the following. One, explain the difference between literal and figurative. Two, distinguish whether a word has a literal or figurative meaning. And three, differentiate between similes and metaphors. Literal or denotation. A word is used literally when it is used within its dictionary meaning. Let's look at our example. The tea is extremely sweet. Sweet is the underlined word that we're looking at. And in this sentence, sweet means has too much sugar. Figurative or connotation. A word is used figuratively when it is used outside of its dictionary definition. Let's look at our example below. Cardia is such a sweet young lady. Sweet, again, is our underlined word that we're looking at. In this sentence, sweet does not mean has too much sugar. In this sentence, sweet takes on a figurative meaning, and it means well-mannered or friendly. Metaphor. A metaphor is a figurative device, and it is a comparison between two unlike things. Let's look at our example below. Life is a highway. Simile. Simile is also a figurative device, and a simile is a comparison between two unlike things using like or as. Let's look at our example down below. He is as strong as an ox. Today, we're going to play a game called Think Fast. Put on your thinking cap, students. Round one. In this round, you will have to determine whether the underlying words are used figuratively or literally. Let's look at number one. Point the knife downward when you are walking around the room because it is very sharp. Sharp is our underlined word. Is sharp used figuratively or literally? Number two, Chad looked very sharp in his three-piece suit last night. Sharp, again, is our underlying word. Is sharp in this sentence used figuratively or literally? Number three. When Josh got his birthday gift, he was dead happy. Dead is our underlined word. Is dead used figuratively or literally? Number four, the dead body was found in bushes near the Carmichael Road area. Dead is our underlined word. Is dead in this sentence used figuratively or literally?
Number five, it is extremely cold outside today. Is cold, our underlined word, used figuratively or literally? Number six, Mrs. Spence is a cold teacher for locking us outside. Cold is our underlined word. Is cold used figuratively or literally? Let's look now at the answers that you should have gotten. One, literally. Two, figuratively. Three, figuratively. Four, literally. Five, literally. Six, figuratively. If you got those answers, give yourself a big pat on the back. You are doing an excellent job, students. Round two. In this round, you will have to determine whether the statements listed below are similes or metaphors. Let's look at number one. Her hair is as black as coal. Is this a simile or a metaphor? Number two, my room is so messy, it's practically a pig pen. Is this statement a simile or a metaphor? Number three, your backpack is as heavy as a brick. Is this statement a simile or a metaphor? Number four, children are the most beautiful flowers. Is this statement a simile or a metaphor? And number five, her voice was like water bubbling from a silver jar. Is this a simile or a metaphor? Now let's look at some of the answers that you should have gotten. Number one, simile. Number two, metaphor. Number three, simile. Number four, metaphor. And number five, simile. 